Today's question comes from Antonio, and it's related to a question I answered about a week ago. If you haven't seen all of our videos, click on our channel name, click on videos. There's a lot to watch. Today's video was brought to you by eWin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our eWin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. Antonio asks, compared to the Ryzen 7 5700G, how much more powerful can AMD make an AM5 APU? on a 1080p monitor, 1080p high settings, and he gives an example of Cyberpunk or Red Dead Redemption, two challenging games to run. In my opinion, is that possible? And would crazy cooling be required? He wants to know if you had a 280 millimeter liquid cooler, could you put enough in that chip in order to make it do 1080p high detail in high demanding AAA games? He says, is having more then 32, I'm assuming he means megabytes here, 32 megabytes of L3 cache on an APU going to help performance. Boy, that's a lot to ask. A week ago, I answered a question about when will low-end, when will APUs replace low-end dedicated GPUs? This is a bit of a different question, which is why I'm answering it. 32 megabytes of on-chip cache is not going to make a difference. 96 megabytes of on-chip cache is not going to make a difference. The problem is where you store the assets, and games today need gigabytes and gigabytes of assets. This is why VRAM is on video cards. On the consoles, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, they have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 that is shared between the CPU and APU. Unlike your PC, they don't have to copy data from the main system RAM into the VRAM. It's unified access, so the data is there, CPU accesses it, GPU accesses it, it never has to move. That is tremendously efficient, and it's why those are so good for the price that is charged. Why aren't our desktops like that? Because your desktop does more than play games. You can install hundreds of thousands of different programs and use your computer for business productivity, spreadsheets, databases, content creation, video editing, playing games, browsing the web, online banking, doing your taxes, and all of them at the same time. And the design of a console is designed to do exactly one thing play games really well. It doesn't really do anything else very well. So the issue is not how much on-chip L3 cache you've got. What you need is four or eight gigabytes of L4 GDDR6, essentially dedicated to being high-speed memory or HBM either way. HBM might be easier to stack than GDDR6 given the space constraints inside of a CPU. Now that could be changed if you could have GDDR6 on your motherboard and the APU had a dedicated high-speed link directly to it or it was shared between the CPU and GPU. But this would require a redesign of our system, redesign of the motherboard, the pin layout, the whole architecture of the PC. It would almost certainly require an update to Windows and how Windows is written. This would be a big deal. Will we get there? Yes, I do think we will. Will we get there in the next five years? No, we won't. Will it be on AM5? No, it will not. AM6. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly. They have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used eWin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with eWin to bring you this special discount and recommend eWin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. AM6? Mm, I give it less than a 50% chance. AM7? Yeah we're getting there. I do think that day is coming. I do think that with the reduction in process technology and the improvements in memory speed and the fact that, you know, okay, sure, we have 4K screens. I know 8K exists, but I mean, look, 4K, I can tell the difference between 4K and 1080p. 1080p, 1440p, 4K, there is an improvement. 8K? I've seen 8K. Ah. Uh... 
I don't know that we're really ever going to 8K. It is such a tiny difference. You have to have, you would have to have such a ridiculously powerful computer. If we end up settling on 4K and we stay at 4K, then all this will catch up to it. And eventually, yes, it will become economical to design our PCs to handle that internally. And you won't need a big fancy dedicated graphics card. We did used to have dedicated sound cards after all. Of course, while sounds a lot easier than video, who uses a dedicated sound card anymore? Okay, the three of you who have one, I fine, sit down. We all know you exist. 98% of us do not have dedicated sound cards. No, to answer Antonio's question, we are not going to have APUs on AM5, on the AM5 socket. Not even with Zen 5, not even with Zen 6. They're going to be able to do what you want. You're going to need a dedicated graphics card to play AAA games at 1080p high just because of how it's designed.